Thank you. Thank you. Well, summer's over. Here's my ten. <laughs> one day at the beach this summer, I went one day. I burn so easily, I get out there, I have no sunscreen. So one of my friend's hands me baby oil. <laughs> well, this is liquid magnifying glass. I put this on, you might as well throw me in a wok and stir fry me for a couple hours. I don't go in the water because of sharks. And I love our attitude with sharks. As people, we can hunt and kill any creature on the planet. That's okay. But if a shark or a lion kills one of us, we flip out. Man-eater! Let's get a shark posse, boys. That one's a man-eater. As if the shark makes a choice. It's got the brain of a six-pack. I'm sure the shark is roaming the ocean thinking to itself, well, I had tuna yesterday, <laughs> tuna the day before. Boy, I could go for an insurance salesman on a surfboard about that. <laughs> Definitely not one of the ways I want to die is a shark attack. I absolutely don't want to die one of those deaths where after I'm gone, everyone says, he didn't know what hit him. <laughs> you know, that poor guy will never even know what hit him. That would be a terrible way to spend eternity, wouldn't it? Walking around, people going, what happened to you? I don't know. <laughs> would be like the major topic of conversation in eternity is how you died, how you got there. I don't think people are going to be too interested in your SAT scores. <laughs> That's why it'd be great to die a hero's death. You die a hero's death, you got bragging rights for eternity. Yeah, me? Well, I tell you, I was walking down the street, saw this house on fire, heard these kids screaming inside. I went in and pulled the kids out. Went back in for the Cabbage Patch doll, and I bought it. <laughs> How about yourself? I stepped on a rake. <laughs> and of all the heavens, I think the toughest heaven to get into has to be the Hindu heaven. Because if you're a Hindu, in order to get into your own heaven, you have to know everything there is to know about life on this planet. If you don't know everything, they send you back down to Earth, you have to live again. That's what they call reincarnation. That's what I call a tough final exam. <laughs> and I bet some people are blowing on the first question. Tell me, what is the capital of South Dakota? <laughs> Time is up, you lose. Go back, this time you're fungus. Enjoy. Saw a lot of movies this summer. I'm an American, I met my quota. I saw Indiana Jones. Now, I loved Raiders Lost Ark, but Indiana Jones, come on, too much. He falls out of an airplane, doesn't have a parachute. Of course, use a rubber life raft. <laughs> boing, boing. Yeah, that could happen. <laughs> it might as well have been Wiley e. Coyote in a Temple of Doom. <laughs> You ever watch about eight roadrunners in a row? After a while, you're going, Wiley, don't go in the tunnel. <laughs> and I go to see one foreign film a year just to see if I can still read. <laughs> Subtitles are one thing, but I can't stand it when they dub a foreign film. Not the lip syncing. I think we're all pretty much used to the fact that English and French don't lip up together. <laughs> but it's a fact that I only hear one actor's voice for every foreign film. I hear the same guy's voice for the Italian, the French, the Japanese movies. Antonio, that is my wife. Leave her alone. <laughs> Francois, did you bring your champagne for the brunch? <laughs> Kyoto, the monster approaches Tokyo. <laughs> Day 
Shavu! And the Power Tool murder movies continue with Friday the 13th, the final chapter. I doubt it. <laughs> it made much too much money for them to stop that. They already did Friday the 13th 3D. Next one has to be Friday the 13th 4D. Jason's in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to have a small popcorn. <laughs> oh, it's the best we've ever been to in my life. The guy sitting right next to me got an axe in the head. <laughs> Look at the blood! I'm coming back tomorrow night with my whole family. Dear, you sit there. Thank you very much.